Hello and welcome to this video on Wi-Fi. This video is a bit different from the others because usually in this series we show you some configuration whereas here uh, this is just a small video to answer a question I often get from people working on Wi-Fi and it is why is it that voice is marked as 6 on the Wi-Fi side while we say it should be marked as 5 on the Ethernet side. What is the reason for that? So this is a video on the history of why this is. And you know if you configure your QS profile page and you set the QoS profile to Platinum, which is intended for voice, the expected max DSCP value for voice would be EF, which is 46. And if you want to activate some 802.1p marking, you would set the uh, wild protocol at the bottom, and the value you see here is by default 5. And that's something you also have seen if you know this classical uh, Cisco mapping table for QoS mapping on AirOS, where you see that in a, the 802.11e value, you would see 6, whereas for the Ethernet value you would see 5 for voice and same logic for video by the way, where it's 5 on the Wi-Fi side and 4 on the Ethernet side, etc. And we say avid marking as if this was a Cisco specific recommendation, but the 802.11e protocol mentions that voice should be 6, video should be 5, etc. And the general industry practice is that voice should be 5 on Ethernet and not 6. So, why is that? Well, there is a simple reason. It is that when the 802.11e protocol was developed between 2002 and 2004, it actually was derived from some work that Microsoft and some other companies did together to try to develop a QS scheme for Wi-Fi devices. And that common effort was called WME and it was used as a basis to develop 802.11e. And when this working group decided to create a mapping, they used the 802.1p table uh, that was built in 1998, and as you read here, the 1p table was actually not published as a protocol, but it was an implementation of user priority values for certain traffic types that was reused in the 802.1d uh, classification for traffic priority. And that table was used by this consortium and therefore by 802.11e to decide of the marking that some traffic would be expected to have on the Wi-Fi side. And as you see here, voice would be 6, video would be 5, and the only thing above voice would be network control that would be receiving the absolute highest priority value of 7. So that was in 2002, 3 and 4, while the 802.11e was developed work on the 11e protocol ended in about 2004 and the protocol was finally published in 2005. But that table is still visible and the mark from Microsoft is still visible if you capture some traffic in Wi-Fi uh, in Wireshark for example the WMM values which are derived from the uh, Wi-Fi certification of WMM which is an implementation of a part of 802.11e so although it's uh, IEEE 802.11e Wireshark still shows the old name, which is uh, the WME name, uh, Microsoft, where some other capture tools, of course, will show you directly that this is IEEE 802.11e or WMM, but Wireshark still remembers uh, the older name. So Microsoft still present there. So we are here in 2004, by the time the 802.11e protocol is uh, almost finished, uh, just going through ratification. And we use that table by which voice is 6, video is 5, and the only thing above voice is network control 7. But by that time, the IETF and the IEEE, mostly the 802.1 group, which is the Ethernet, the wired group, made some new recommendations by creating more possibilities than just the seven categories. And they decided that there could be more traffic types than the one described before, and that therefore the mapping should be slightly different. And one thing they say is that as soon as you have more than four traffic types here, there would be some network control traffic, but there would be two types, one which is the local network control traffic, and also what would be the inter-network control traffic, which is something that spans across several networks. And those two being network control should receive the highest priority, but because they are different, they should not receive the same priority. So they decided together to downgrade the user traffic one notch down, so voice comes from 6 and goes to 5, video from 5 goes to 4, and then 6 and 7 are reserved for the internet work traffic and the network control traffic. And this is true for any case where you have more than 4 queues. 
So as the years went by, most of the industry in the Ethernet world started adopting this new recommendation and now I'm recording this in 2015 most of the industry tags voice as 5 at layer 2 video as 4 at layer 2 that is on the wired side but when this recommendation was made in 2005 the IEEE had already published the 802.11e standard amendments and it was too late to change it so in between, by the way, Microsoft started working in three directions um, and one of them is to recommend that the layer 2 marking should be the same regardless of the medium to which you're sending a frame. So if voice is marked as 5 by 8.2.1p on the wired side, it should be marked as 5 on the wireless side as well. So actually Microsoft made a presentation at the IEEE and the Wi-Fi Alliance in 2014 suggesting that we should change the 802.11e old marking to a new marking by which voice should be 5 and view should be 4 instead of the current and probably old 6 and 5 respectively. This idea has a lot of merit, but the reaction from the IEEE 802.11 working group and the Wi-Fi Alliance was that changing this marking might be likely to disrupt the industry and that it might be better for a while at least to keep this translation between 6 for voice on Wi-Fi and 5 for voice on the wired side at the point of the access point or the point of the controller rather than changing the marking with the disrupting effect that this may have. The idea was reinforced by the notion that Wi-Fi is an access medium so there is no network control traffic or internet work control traffic on Wi-Fi because it's not the core medium, it's access. And that kind of traffic, network control or internet work control, is not wanted on that kind of access medium. So moving to this new scheme that may make sense on the Ethernet side would actually block two user priorities, 6 and 7, that would be reserved for a traffic that we do not want already with the current scheme that is derived from a recommendation from 1998, remember? We are not using 7 or barely at all because the first useful traffic that we see is voice and that is 6 and there is no real networks where you should have or would have network control or internet work control traffic that would be labeled as 7. So this is where we are in 2015. We use the older marking with the older recommendations on the Wi-Fi side and most vendors use the newer marking on the wired side. I hope this was useful for you and I would like to thank you for watching.